Hello Parkway Pirates. Today we are celebrating all of our athletes and giving our awards for the 2019-2020 school year. Today we are recognizing all athletes who participated in all the sports for this year. In addition to that, we're recognizing our MVP and also our coaches award. Thank you for your service. The first team being recognized today is Girls Cross Country, coached by Cara D'Ambrosio. Congratulations to the Girls Cross Country team. Jasmine B, Michaela E, Natasha E, Eva F, Gabriana M, Jalen R, Gabriella R, and Samara T. The person I'd like to recognize is for the coaches award is Samara. Samara, you always came to practice willing to run and your team's your times greatly improved this year. Also you always came even with an injury and you were willing to put your heart into it and I always appreciated that as well as being a role model for the rest of our squad, our team. So thank you. Um, for our MVP award, um, that award is going to Jasmine. Jasmine, you were amazing and you had the quickest times on our team. Every practice you showed up willing to put everything into it and you motivated others to do the same. So congratulations for that MVP award, Jasmine. The next team is Boys Cross Country, coached by Mr. Mata. The Boys Cross Country team Jeremy D, Gabriel H, Worrell L, John P, Cecil P, Angel S, and Sebastian T. Nominate Worrell for the Coach's Award. Worrell was a dependable, hardworking athlete in boys cross country that helped uh, the boys cross country team succeed this season. I nominate Cecil for the MVP for boys cross country. Cecil uh, pushed himself to the highest standards and had great success in the cross country meets. Uh, Cecil was a dependable athlete and was one of the reasons that we were successful this season. Girls soccer coached by Mr. Shorts and Mr. Tony. Girls soccer team is Giselle C, Lynette D, Megan F, Nandi K, Yanira N, Yasmin R, Sophia R, Diana S, Sophia V, and Avery W. This was Shayla's first time playing soccer, but if you watched her like I did, you would have never guessed that. Shayla is such an awesome kid to coach because she strives to be the best. She craves competition and doesn't back down to anyone. I can't stress it enough how tough she is and how hard working she is. It's so awesome to see her go out there and give it her all each and every game. I'm so excited I get to coach her one more year. Although she can be a little bit of a pain to deal with, I wouldn't want her to be any other way. I know she will one day be playing professionally in some sport because she is that special of an athlete. Because of all these reasons and more, my coach's award goes to Shayla. Nandi is an absolutely outstanding soccer player. The skills she has are second to none. She made us so much better whenever she was on the field, and she was an absolutely true leader. She was an incredible player for our team because she was able to play in any spot we put her on the field and help her teammates out whenever they needed it. I wish I could have her just one more year, but I know wherever she goes, she will make a great asset for her high school team. I can't wait to go and watch her play, and that is why this year for girls soccer, I am naming my MVP Nandi. Nandi is an absolutely outstanding soccer player. The skills she has are second to none. She made us so much better whenever she was on the field, and she was an absolutely true leader. She was an incredible player for our team because she was able to play in any spot we put her on the field and help her teammates out whenever they needed it. I wish I could have her just one more year, but I know wherever she goes, she will make a great asset for her high school team. I can't wait to go and watch her play. 
And that is why this year for girls soccer, I am naming my MVP Nandi. Next, we have boys soccer, coached by Mr. Culver. The boys soccer team is Joshua A, Rayanne C, Jaden F, Dalton G, Fernando G, William H, Jacob M, Diego M, Elijah M, and Keandre O. As for my coach's pick for the boys soccer team, I say I would pick Jaden because he had something that I had not seen in a lot of other kids, and that's just the heart and tenacity to never give up. He always left everything out on the field. Even when he got a little angry, it just showed that he had the love for the game, and I appreciate that more than anything. Um, best of luck to you, Jaden. I know you're going to do great. All right, for the boys' soccer team, I nominated William as our MVP. I think he deserves this because he was always showing up, always put everything out on the field, and he never gave up on his team. Uh, his great leadership skills were out of this world. Uh, he even helped me a lot through it, and we had a, I would say, a very successful year, and I hope the best for him in the future. Girls Volleyball, coached by Miss Woolett. The girls' volleyball team is Yelmi A, Ivaniska C, Carolina C, Nicole C, Ashling C, Ivanis F, Alyssa M, Yanara N, Danoshka R, Sashali R, Jerishlis R, Yadira S, Riley S, and Brianna V. The coaches' award for girls' volleyball this year goes to Ashlyn Quayo. Ashlyn has brought balance to our team. She is a very skilled player that fits into any role I needed her to fulfill. She was at every single practice and never once complained. She encouraged her teammates and set a good example for them to follow. Her positivity not only inspired me, but also her teammates. Congratulations, Ashlyn, for winning this year's Coaches Award. Girls Volleyball's MVP player for the 2019 season is Carolina Cortez. Carolina is an extremely talented young lady and fully committed to the sport. She is a leader on the court, a powerhouse server, and an overall amazing player. Her knowledge of volleyball is not superseded by anyone else. Her passion is, is evident in every single game and in her focus. Carolina never gave up and put her full effort into every single game. I'm very proud to announce Carolina Cortez as Girls Volleyball's Most Valuable Player this season. Up next is Boys Volleyball, coached by Miss Olivo. The Boys Volleyball team is Emilio A, Caleb D, Ulysses F, Dalton G, Giovanni G, Marion K, Romeo M, Jacob M, Janius M, Mark R, Juan R, and Armani S. Parkway's Middle School Coaches Award for the 2019-2020 season goes to a player that wasn't even thinking of trying out. However, when he heard that we needed one more player to make an official season for us, he took a plunge and started a new journey with us. What that means is that he had no experience in volleyball and just learned as the day came. He learned from captains, other players, and myself. And I'm super proud that he had done that too, that he found his love for volleyball and that he hopefully plans to join us for the upcoming season of 2020. I'm proud to say that our coaches award goes to Jernitis. The MVP of Parkway Middle School's 2019-2020 season is a student that I've had the pleasure of coaching in the past two years. He is one of only two boys that have had previous experience in volleyball. He is taking his leadership roles to the sky and has done more than I could ever expect of him. He is known to us as our secret weapon whenever he will go up to the serving line and we just knew that the other team was not ready 
for what was to come. I am proud to announce that this year's MEP goes Romeo. Girls basketball, coached by Mr. Simpson and Miss Evans. Girls basketball team, Yelmi A, Amaya A, Ivaniska C, Diamond D, Angelina G, Laurenis H, Yanira N, Kimari O, Joellis P, Janellis S, Sheila S, Brianna V, Sophia V, and Avery W. Congratulations to the Coaches Award winner for Girls Basketball, Janelius S. And congratulations to the MVP for Girls Basketball, Yelmi A. Up next is the Boys Basketball Team, coached by Mr. Kamek. The Boys Basketball Team is Yariel B., Jamario B., Rubensky B., Jackson H, Joshua M, Vincent M, Walid N, Jason R, Giordani S, Johan T, Jovanel T, Christian V, and Braylon W. This year's Coaches Award goes to Gio Soto. This year, Gio has really impressed me, and going forward when he's in high school, I hope that the coaches there see the potential that I have seen in him. He will go out no matter how many minutes he plays, but he will play his heart out. Gio, congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Joe Rignell, this year's MVP, has shown great growth and leadership with his teammates. We will see what next year holds, but I do know for a fact that Joe Rignell will show up and do what he needs to do. Up next is cheerleading, coached by Miss D'Ambrosio. The cheerleading team consists of Yasmel A, Giselle C, Nicole C, Brienne F, Kayla H, Nandi K, Gabriella L, Amara M, Christian M, Alana R, Naomi S. For my MVP award, I have Aliana. Um, Aliana, you have stuck through it all and you really stepped up to make sure that our um, team was successful and working well together and your positive attitude and of course how loud you were were always appreciated um, by myself and of course your team and other teachers as well at other practices. And my coach's award goes to Brienne. Brienne, you did the same thing. You always had a positive attitude and you always came to practice with something to offer us um, in terms of something new to use. And you always kept a positive attitude in terms of helping everybody else on our team um, and sharing your experiences with them. So I hope that you um, yeah, continue cheerleading as well as um, congratulations to my winners and also thank you for a great squad this year to the rest of my cheer team. Up next is girls track and field, coached by Mr. Fister. The girls track team is Beanice A, Jasmine B, Diamond D, Cherylise D, Joy D, Natasha E, Raven F, Eva F, Anaya H, Anaya H, Kayla H, Jaslyn J, John Jocelyn J, Elise Marie L, Amara M, Anisa P, Melanie P. Sonalise R, Jalen R, Jaslyn R, Adianise R, Amaya T, Samara T, and Brianna V. Jasmine's attitude and commitment to track and her team is what made her stand out above the rest this year. Her attitude was always positive and you could always see her excited to hang with her friends and train, especially when she thought we were being too hard on her and her teammates. With so many choices for sports and clubs, I'm glad that Jasmine came back to track. We were very lucky to have her, and I know she will do well in everything she does. Joy was a great addition to our team. She always gave it her best during practice. She was always pushing herself to be better, and I was happy and proud to have her on my team this year. 
I was very sad that we only got one meet because I know with Joy's dedication, we would have crushed the competition and we would have definitely won first place. The boys track and field team is coached by Mr. Mata. Boys track and field, Manuel A, Emilio A, William C, Jeremy C, Jeremy D, Jeremy F, Anthony F, Joshua F, Kevin F, Fernando, Fernando G, Gabriel H, Hatim L, Jose L, Grifton L, Jared L, Jonathan L, Worrell L, Jonathan M, Juan M, John P, Jabril P, Lewis R, Mark R, Elvin R, Angel R, Alex T, Sebastian T, and Brad V. I want to nominate Jose for the Coach's Award. Jose was a athlete with positive energy, hardworking and dependable. He always pushed himself and was one of the reasons we were successful this season. I nominate Jared for the MVP award for boys track and field. Jared was a high character, hardworking athlete who was willing to try anything to help the team. He was one of the reasons that we were successful this season. Up next is girls flag football coached by Mr. Matos. The girls flag football team is Yelmi A, Melanie A, Giselle C, Emery C, Kamaya D, Eva F, Jaslyn H, Jalitza H, Stephanie M, Yanira N, Gabriella O, Michelle O, Jamali R, Yerlise R, Sheila S, and Janelise S. Ever since your first year at Parkway, it is truly an honor to have been your coach. You are growing into an athlete that pulls in positive vibes. You make others around you better, and that alone puts you into a category that is hard to achieve in middle school. Your enthusiasm, attendance, attitude, initiative, and intensity are all amazing, and they will guide you down a successful future in sports, school, and in life. I am looking forward to one more go around as you return as an eighth grader. You can be the heart and soul of every team you join if you work hard enough. Never change who you are and be the best that you can be because you make a difference and your tenacity shows every time. For these reasons, I have chosen you, Shayla, to earn Coach's Award for Girls Flag Football. Congratulations. Yanaira, for the past three years, I've seen you give your heart and soul to Parkway Athletics. Even though your eighth grade year of football was stripped from you, I know what you would have brought to this team. On the field, you are a, di a difference maker and I will miss that explosiveness. Always keep your head up and never let anything drag you down. No matter how much is stacked against you or what obstacles get in your way, keep your head in the game and do what you do best, compete. In the wins and losses, be graceful and focus on the next task. I'm gonna miss coaching a student like you and I know you are going places. You are elite. For all these reasons and more, Yanaira, you are my MVP for girls flag football. Up next is boys flag football, coached by Mr. Shorts. The boys flag football team is Jamario B, Leo B, Ulysses F, Jaden F, Joshua F, Joaquin F, Bryce F, Dalton G, Fernando G, Jackson H, Amacy J, Caden J, 
Jabari L, Janari L, Malachi L, Romeo M, Chris M, Julian P, Nasir P, Cecil P, Jason R, Angel S, Christian V, and Braylon W. Leo was the hardest working player on the field this year. Leo went 110% every single practice, every lap, every play, so on and so forth. He never had an excuse and pushed his fellow teammates to work hard and keep going. Leo is one of my students this year. I had heard about Leo at the beginning of the year and wanted to build a strong bond with him because he seemed like a pretty cool kid. I used football to push him. I would tell him every day that I need him come football season. I like to think it struck a chord with him because he worked hard in my class and was a completely different student by the end of the third quarter. I truly wish I could have seen him play because he had his grades up and he would have been a starting player on my defense. Leo, I hope you play in high school because I know you will make your team better with your heart and your dedication. I can't wait to see you play. That is why I have the honor of awarding Leo with my coach's award for boys fly football. I've had the pleasure of coaching Jason for three years now. Uh, he's been a player for me and a student in the classroom. He has so much talent and some of the plays he makes on the field is just absolutely mind blowing. I couldn't have been more proud of this kid with him on and off the field this year. He worked hard to ensure he had the grades and it's a shame he couldn't have proved that he was gonna be the best quarterback in the county this year. I cannot wait to see him in high school playing because I know whatever position he plays for whatever school, hopefully Osceola, He's going to make his team that much better. Although we did not play a game this year, he is beyond deserving of this award. That is why I have the honor and privilege of awarding Jason this year's MVP of Boys Five Football. Up next is our Athlete of the Year for both male and female. So congratulations to our Male Athlete of the Year, Jason Russo. And congratulations to our Female Athlete of the Year, Sheila Santos. 